Uh, America's finest city. What a gorgeous afternoon for baseball we have in store from Petco Park. It's game three of the World Series between the Texas Rangers and the San Diego Padres. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny as pitching matchups go it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well Matt these are two of the best in the business two guys that throw a lot of strikes and if their game is on we should have a very low scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. A pivotal game three of the World Series is next. All right guys let's take a look at how the pods line up on B. And let's focus on Manny Machado, 2015 Gold Glove winner. Get the mantle space ready. He's going to add more to that. On the defensive side, he's a highlight reel at the hot corner. Leading off the inning, it'll be Jay Mack, and they could use a spark from him here. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. And he swung out and missed 0 1. Find the ball. Find the ball. Nice hit. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Joe Lucchese. Textbook sack bump situation here. And there he goes towards second. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Well, when the stolen base is that close, it's interesting to check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, you'll want to focus on the top speed. Really good, and it paid off there. Mack stands at second with no outs. Bunt sign still on with two strikes as he puts right here, this right one here down. on the back. Throw not in time at first, so the pitcher tries to give himself up, but instead he gets himself a base hit. Into the box, Justin Dean, and their runners at the corners now. One, two. On a line to shortstop. And now Bryce Terang. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. The 0-1 on its way. Swing and a looper to left. Tatis on the grass. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Boy, not the prettiest of swings, Dero. That looked a little bit from the Vladimir Guerrero book, but nonetheless, he got the job done. Yeah, a little choking poke right there. He flipped the bat out there and was able to find a little empty green grass. Not pretty, but he'll take it. Striding in is Oscar Mercado. Base knocked to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Here comes the one-two. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. You're up, you're up, you're up. And he's safe. The tying run is in to score from second. It's now a 2 2 ball game. They not hit all that hard, D roll. He muscled it out there for a two RBI base hit. Yeah, I don't care, Dan. Lawn dart off the end of the bat. Jam sandwich doesn't matter. Found himself some green grass. Next to dig in, Jay Mack. He singled in his first AB. Here it comes. Uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees at strike one. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball.
That's a ball. No offer on that one. Two balls Down. and a strike. Three runs, four hits. And no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Center fielder looking up at the track, the wall. And this one is gone, a home run. So a solo shot here to left center field, and it gives the Rangers a 4-2 to two lead. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. Now at the plate, here is Mike Ford. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Rangers four and the Friars two. Two for two in the ball game so far. First pitch of the AB on its way. One zero. Jackson aboard here at first with nobody out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hassel will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now at the plate, Jay Mack, he flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty, almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Wave that he missed and he's behind 0-2. Hey, this guy's so aggressive, I don't think this pitch is anywhere near the zone. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Rico Arturo will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Christian Robinson will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Take a commanding 3 nothing lead in this World Series. Joey Lucchese pitches well enough to get the W. Ryan Weathers was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak.